Well, what's up, riders? Old Man Ronan here, and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, we are on the very first ride. Well, I shouldn't say that. I actually put 10 miles on this bike already. <laughs> I know, 10 miles. When I picked it up in New York, it had 289 miles on. I ran it back and forth to the DMV, almost getting killed, but that's a future story. So stay tuned. We'll tell you all about the classic 500. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> guys are saying classic 500. This is a new bike. Well, it's new to me. Uh, I actually, uh, hey, I turned off my turn signal. Hey, I actually went up to New York, uh, upstate New York, to, f I, I found this bike, and, uh, you know, I've been looking for a while because, you know, everybody talks about the classic 500 and how great a machine it is, but yet there's a lot of stuff that they don't like about it and yada, yada, yada stuff. You know, all that kind of thing. And to be perfectly honest with you, I was intrigued because I did ride a Bullet 500 back in the uh, early 2000s, and I have uh, mentioned this several times on my uh, channel here, where I, I, I test rode it at a dealership that really didn't really want to sell Royal Enfield. I don't know why they even had them. Uh, you know, I, uh, they, they were big into the, uh, the vintage bikes and restorations, and they had Royal Enfield almost like a second thought. So I rode one, and I kind of liked it, like I said, it was back in the early 2000s, and I thought, well, there's a Bullet 500. And I said, you know, and I and literally it was a 10-minute ride. Probably the same amount of miles I have on this right now. Like 10 miles is all I put on the bike, if that. It probably wasn't even that. But to make a long story short, I decided against it because, well, the dealer didn't seem to be interested. But I was still always intrigued. In fact, if you guys go to my website, oldmanronan.com, you'll see a blog that I put up there just the other day, and I think it'd be kind of fun for you to go read one of the reasons why I uh, have now a Classic 500. But the one that I got here, guys, is the, uh, is the Battle Green, and let's uh, show you a walk around right now. You know, uh, one of the things I uh, wanted to find out for myself, besides, you know, everybody talking about how, oh, it vibrates to beat the band. Well, I gotta be honest with you. You will feel it a little bit in the bars, particularly at higher speeds. You will feel it so far, I'm saying, in the, in the foot bag, not in the seat. This seat is really comfortable. Uh, it's got a unique stance to it. Well, I shouldn't say that. It fits just exactly like the classic 350. But the difference is it does have more sensations. <laughs> but as a guy who's ridden Harley Davidson's old Triumphs and old Nortons, I don't see any real difference. In fact, my Harley, I was making a joke the other day. We had a bunch of folks over at the house and I was making a joke to him the other day. I said, you jump on that iron 883 or that Sportster 1250. Now that was vibrate. Hell, even my 2001 Road King vibrates more than this. So for a guy to say that it's a deal breaker because it vibrates too much, they probably don't have a lot of time on motorcycles. Or they're so used to riding the smooth machines uh, that they, uh, they, uh, they don't really know what, what to expect, I guess. And I, I guess that's prob probably it more than anything else. But we're out today. We're on the Classic 500. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about the bike, starting with the specifications. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't have a lot of horsepower, doesn't have, but it has a good amount of torque. The thing handles amazingly, uh, just like the Classic and the Meteor. It's got a really upright stance to it. Uh, I mean, it, it's, <laughs> this, this bike makes me giggle a little bit. It's more powerful, supposedly, engine size than the Classic 350, but it really doesn't have that much more oomph than what the Classic 350 does. But what it does have is freaking cool. I mean, this is, you know what they say, vintage cool. That's what this is. This is vintage cool. And I really get a kick out of uh, how, uh, you know, the reception I'm getting, uh, you know, for just, uh, you know, people seeing the... Uh, the posts on Instagram and the posts on, uh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I encourage you to, but the posts on Instagram and also the uh, the uh, the uh, website. Yeah, people say it's a great idea for you to have that motorcycle. Huh, well, we got a guy here stuck. You stuck? Sorry, man. I don't think I can pull you out. <laughs> Gotta ask anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? The thing has some really good acceleration. I, I do like that fact. And you do feel it. I'm not going to tell you you don't. You do feel the vibration. But I don't care. <laughs> I mean, we're cruising right now about 40, 45 miles an hour. Uh, I'm up in uh, four fifth gear right now. And... Uh, you can tell the difference on the 500 than you can on the 350 on that uh, greater torque because I can literally muscle up these hills without coming down in the gear and uh, not really losing any speed whatsoever. So that is a difference between the, the classic 350 and the, five, uh, and the 500 is that right away. There is a little bit more butt in this thing than what, uh, what's in the other one, if you know what I mean. However, the other one is super smooth. They do approximately the same on the top end. I think this is going to give you about maybe five to seven more miles an hour at the top end. I, I guarantee you the fuel economy is not going to be as good. Uh, so, you know, but that's not the reason I got the bike. I don't want to do a comparison between the two. What I want to do, my whole idea behind having the Classic 500 is to give myself more culture in the Royal Enfield world. You know, for the longest time, I had virtually no experience on them besides the Himalayan, the Meteor, the Classic, and, well, I've got, a, on all the modern bikes, I've got all kind of experience. But some of the older stuff, I don't have hardly any. And so, to, to give myself added credibility and to help you guys understand what I'm talking about, I thought it was pretty smart for me to, uh, to get into the, uh, into the uh, Classic 500 when I found one, and I was lucky enough to find one. going to take this on one of my favorite little roads close to me. So here we go. This is a curvy road. It does have a little oomph when you shift gears. So you got to get used to that. There's a little bit of a jolt, if you know what I mean. But that's okay. Uh, she handles nice. She handles a lot lighter than what uh, well, the engine size, for example, well, it feels a lot like the Classic. I mean, the Classic 350 feels an awful lot like this, minus the vibrations. <laughs> but it's not that bad, guys, I'm telling you. It's not that bad. And she does scoot down the road a little bit. This is a fun-ass bike, man, I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm taking you basically on the same roads that I always do on all my motorcycle tests, except for gravel. And I eventually will take this bike on gravel. But today, this is my, it is literally like an initial ride, like I do on uh, all the other motorcycles. You guys are going to see me on a KLR here in the next couple weeks. And it's a fun bike as well, too. I've already ridden it a couple times. But uh, this video I wanted to bring out today just to show you because people have been asking for it. I've had the bike about, oh, three, four weeks now. And uh, this is really the first real big ride I don't want to say big ride the big the ride that I've done because the number one thing I did I had to change the oil I had to make sure the gas was okay this bike sat for a long time I mean it is 10 years old literally 10 years old right now and so we wanted to make sure everything was copacetic but so far let me tell you what I'm feeling right now I'm cruising up right at right almost at 50 miles an hour and I'm not getting any vibration at all the only time I'm getting any vibration is when I'm jumping up into the uh, rpms a little heavier 
I do know that the brakes will lock up. No question about that. <laughs> and the reason why I say that, well, we're going to save that for the end of the video. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me, you naughty, naughty. <laughs> But when you when you throttle up pretty strong, you get a little bit of a, a little bit of buzz. But when you're cruising there in let's say fifth gear at 50 miles an hour, nah, nothing, man. We'll get up a little faster here around the corner when we get on a, more of a state route. This is a definitely a back back route, if you know what I mean. Ah, it's cold today. I started this morning at 45 degrees. Again, man, I'll tell you what's been hovering between 45 and. Uh, and we're supposed to get some frost in the next couple days, which is not making me very happy. But it'll make the leaves beautiful. They're just now starting to give a little bit of color. You can see up there in the, uh, on the side of the hills there. Which means that this fall is going to be beautiful as far as riding. And we're going to take you with us when we go. I'm seeing my camera shaking off a lot. That does tell you something about the vibration in the handlebars. But I don't get it out here on the uh, the ends, and I think the bar eight ones, uh, the bar end weights make a lot of difference. I think it does handle just a little bit different than what the classic 350 does. I, you know, when you have a modern style bike like the classic 350 with that J series engine, which is without a doubt my favorite single ever built. I, I really truly mean that. Uh, it, it 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 spoils you. Now this bike here, does it do well? Oh yeah. I mean, it's doing really well. I'm. I'm going to have a lot of fun on this motorcycle. I can feel it already because I've got a, <laughs> I got a goofy grin on my face ever since I picked the bike up, even before I really rode it a lot. And, uh, well, we've got, a, what, 307 miles on it, or six miles, seven, six miles. So, yeah, we, uh, we're going a long way already. <laughs> Stay tuned, little motorcycle. You've got lots more come. But, you know, I, I'm not getting enough shake in the mirrors to make it, uh, you know, unbearable. So, I mean, I don't, like I said, I think a lot of times when guys complain about vibration on motorcycles is that they, I don't really think they have a tremendous amount of experience riding older motorcycles. And I think that's what it is. See, I grew up on this kind of stuff. And so for me, it's, it's, not, it's not even close to being a factor. Ooh, that tree fell down. That would be bad. It's, I mean, it's not really not close to me being a factor whatsoever. I mean, you know, that's just... Man, you guys ridden uh, some of the old Harleys? <laughs> yeah, this is nothing. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And maybe that's why I'm a little spoiled about this stuff. Because I've ridden... You know, I've been riding motorcycles on the road for 50 years now. I know. I'm old man Ronan. And uh, I'll tell you, that, it, that aspect of it, that experience level, gives me the ability to tell you exactly how these things... You know, it's it's not a big deal. And now, if so, if you see some uh, some of the older 500s out there, pick one up and go for a test ride. And if it bugs you, realize you're a newbie. No! I'm just teasing. Not real. I just want to tell everybody thank you very much for making the Max Eyewear Sunglass Giveaway such an important part of the Old Man Ronan YouTube channel here. Guys, we had a marvelous, marvelous uh, response from you guys this uh, this uh, September. And speaking of which, this final winner is... Once again, thank you from Old Man Ronan and Max Eyewear. See you next season. Oh man, it's smooth. No wonder these bikes are so popular overseas. Because they're fun. Are they the fastest? No, man, not even close. Hell, Harley Davidson ain't even close to being the fastest motorcycles out there. Yet they have a cult following. And why? Because they have quirks and character. And I think that's what makes a that's what makes a fantastic motorcycle. If you get on a motorcycle and the only thing you're feeling is pressure from the wind as you're going down the road, or some of you guys with the big windshields and the fairings and everything, you don't even feel that. Why are you on a motorcycle? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the... I know it sounds kind of snarky, but I'm serious. What makes motorcycles fun is the quirkiness. What makes the culture fun is the quirkiness, the, the, uh, the, the, the not perfectism. That's what makes a, a bike have a, a great following. I, I really truly believe, I mean, if you've ever ridden some of the old Triumphs, man, they were, you know, that's all I'm saying, they were. <laughs> and so, or Nortons, or even some of the really old Hondas, but here we're, we're let's do a higher gear, fifth gear, 
Low RPM throttling up. Now we're not losing any not losing any speed at all. In fact, I'm going to back down on the throttle because I don't want to go too fast up on top of this hill around the corner. Because you never know. Might be some deer there waiting to talk to you. But, yeah. Well, guys, tell me in the comments, what do you think? Do you think I made a good decision there about getting this bike and adding it to the channel? I want to hear what your thoughts are on it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm not going to say, up to 60 miles an hour, no issue whatsoever. We'll take it on the highway in a future video, we'll do that. But I want to show you something here, guys, what happened to me here about, uh, well, when I took it to get the, uh, the bike inspected and get the title for it. As I'm coming back home from getting my title, I was on this road here exactly. And I was doing about 45 miles an hour. I'm going to put my, uh, my flashers on right here and pull off in this driveway. And uh, see that road right there? As I approach that road, and I'm going to put it right here, and we're going to shut her down. I'm going to take you and do you a little story here. So as I am driving down the road here, I notice this woman, and I mean, I literally start honking the horn. Of course, now the Enfield isn't that loud on a horn. So I notice she's not stopping. She comes out. I hit my brakes hard, and you know, you can see here that the, uh, <laughs> that the rear wheel locked up. Well, right here, she had made her corner, and she hit me on the side of my leg. Didn't hit the bike. Hit, because my... I got a big butt, I guess, which pushed me sideways into the grass, and I was able to stand up because, you know, I'm used, and you can see my track right here. I was able to stand up, and thank God there wasn't a giant ditch here, and was able to ride this out until, and of course, there was still a little bit of wetness on the grass here. I was able to come to a, a good and safe stop right about here without locking her down or <laughs> basically you know dropping the bike whatsoever and it didn't uh, didn't really hurt the bike too much it did a little bit of uh the brush up here did get a little bit into the uh the uh the headlight but we've got we've got that taken care of but you can kind of see here how i was forced off the road and the fact that she did bump me with the side of her car she came back she tried to apologize but to be perfectly honest with you, that's a whole other story. I don't really want to get into what was said. But you can kind of see here, guys, people, please, don't text and drive. Please. Well, now let's get back on the bike and have some more fun. There we go. Well, that's the story of how Old man Ronan about got popped. <laughs> and you know what we did there, guys? We just started out in second gear. That tells you a little bit about the low-end torque of the Classic 500. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, video today. It was full of uh, some news and also some views. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. Share and comment. You know I read all the comments. And comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time, guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.